because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. That word is literally fellowship. It's more literally used as fellowship. I think in maybe more literal translations like the ESV, the word is fellowship. So the Greek of that is koinonia, and the Greek word for fellowship, koinonia, literally means participation. So what I love about this, and the reason why I think this is awesome that he uses this verse, he says, I'm thankful for you, I pray for you, and I'm with joy in my prayer because of your partnership, because of your fellowship, because of your participation in the gospel from the first day until now. And I think this is awesome because it doesn't just mean that Paul is saying that the people in his church have a theology in common, that they have a doctrine in common, that they have a list of do's and don'ts that they agree upon, some values that they have in common, that they have a creed that they all agree on, and that's what defines them as a church. What defines them as a church is their participation in the gospel of Christ, their participation in the life of Christ and in the knowledge of Christ, but in the, in the love and grace that Christ has extended to us we extend it to others. And because he knows that that is happening, he's confident that they are the church together. They are being the church and they're together. And even though they're not together, Paul's not with them. He's writing, remember he's writing from prison, but he's saying that we participate, we have fellowship together. Paul is saying that he has fellowship and partnership and participation with the gospel with these people when they are not physically in the same place. Think about that. Can we do that? Can we have that same thing? I think this is what makes the biggest difference in understanding who we are as, as the church. It's not just agreeing upon a certain set of facts about Jesus. It's not that we meet in the same room. It's not that we have the same name attached to a, a church sign out front of a building. What gives us fellowship is that we participate in the gospel of Jesus Christ together. That's what gives us, that's what makes us a fellowship. It's participation. Anyone out there who's saying that the church is being persecuted because we have to shut our doors and we can't meet, that is absolutely not true. The church is not closed. You are the church wherever you are. That is the beauty of being a New Testament Christian. And so you're not being persecuted because you can't go to your building. You can be the church as you participate in the gospel, just as Paul told the Philippian people to do, even when they weren't together.